What's good? What's good? People, it's your boy J. Kyle. Look, I tried it today. I try to do absolutely nothing, right? I try to do absolutely nothing towards my future, you know, towards better myself. I just went on with kind of like the status quo today. And I promise you, like, it, it has driven me crazy because, like, things, things, things don't look the same, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of observing, you know, social media. I'm kind of observing the people I'm around. I'm like, you know, this can't be all to life. And it's crazy that because, like, I know I was destined for greatness because I bore real easy, you know, meaning when you when you think when, when you get to a point in your life where well when everyone else is still excited about something and things now bore you it mean that you that you're looking for more you know what i'm saying it's like i remember when i was in nashville and i wanted to actually you know work at this motorcycle shop and the only reason i wanted to work at the motorcycle shop was because you know i was told that i never have a motorcycle so i thought maybe by me getting closer to bikes would actually allow me to get a bike quicker and it did but i noticed real quick that you know i kind of got bored with the job you know and i mean it wasn't the the job it wasn't the people but it just got to a point to where i had learned my job and i had mastered my job and it, and it didn't allow me to grow i felt trapped you know and i, and I felt like i was repeating the same thing each day I, I wasn't learning anything you know and but i knew i had to work and that's just one of those things and and not only that, you know, it was like I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't feel free. You know, uh, Saturday mornings I had to actually be at work, and I mean, I know it was only a couple of hours, but I, I, I just felt like I needed to be on the outside. So I made the transition to the job that I'm at now, and it's like it was, it was, it was excitement because I was able to see daylight. But now I have gotten to the point to where, okay. I'm feeling trapped again, you know, and I promise you there's nothing that I'm doing that I don't enjoy, but I look at it as I need to be always learning. And I know the more you learn, the more you earn. And if a job is not teaching you, if a job is not, you know, training you, you're not going to make no money. You're going to always struggle, you know, and that's just one of the things I kind of went through my day and kind of reevaluated myself. And I'm like, you know, my vision is what, what, what pushes me. You know, the headaches that I deal with every so often is because I'm fueling my brain. I'm, I'm putting so much in, and, and my vision is all that I have to stand on sometimes, you know. And it's like people won't understand until, you know, you have some symbol of success in the background, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, you know, it, it don't take everything to be, you know, seen. When when it comes, it comes. You know, I just want to let everyone know that that's, that's out here, if you're, if you're at a point of, of complacentness and and you know you, you you feel trapped you feel like life has more to offer i advise you to take a step back and reevaluate your situation and understand that there's a reason why you feel that way and i and i suggest to anyone to go out there and maximize your life you know don't 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 live with the status quo don't live how people expect you to live your life you know from me to you, from your boy J. Cobb, people, go out there and get it. You know, create a vision and create the life that you want. All right? It's your boy, J. Cobb. Be humble, be consistent, be you.